You're listening to The Unpenned Show with Paul and Andy, broadcasting live around the world. We believe freedom is free. It is enslavement that you're paying for. If you ain't mad by now, you're not paying attention. Definitely one of my favourite songs ever. Mr. John Farnham and you're the voice. Leave that little bit in, Phil, and let's put the link underneath because that is without doubt one of my favourite songs. Hello, mate. Good evening, Paul. It is Tuesday the 19th of March, uh, 2013. Welcome to the show. You listen to Paul Rippon and my pal... Andy. We are live on Block Talk Radio right now. Thank you for listening, and you may well be catching up with us on the YouTube video which will be put together in the next 24 hours. Whichever way you're listening, I uh, would like to say a very big thank you to you for, for doing so. What we try and share in our little hour, an hour and a quarter, is a little bit of our, our, our turn on the news, don't we? we mm. But we don't do news. No. We've tried to. We have. And we're bloody useless at it, aren't we? <laughs> bloody useless. <laughs> now, I can hear a different voice in my headphones. Just let me... I know what I think... Uh, what, can you hear yourself echoing, Matey? I can't. No, not really. You can't, right. OK. Well, we sound a bit stage-like here now, I think. Oh, I see. But we, it's all right. Yeah. It's OK. So, we, don't, we try and do the news, but we do our spin on the news. And that word spin is very important because we think we're going in a straight line, but we're actually going round in circles. <laughs> we are going And the circles. number one news story is, without doubt, the robbery that is underway in oh, Cyprus. Yeah. Yeah. So I think we've certainly got a comment on that, because to, to, to leave it where it is is just silly. Uh, watch a little bit of the BBC coverage, what a, a little bit of uh, the Communist Network Broadcasting Company. Yes. Uh, watch a little bit of them as well, and then Mayor Bloomberg as well. Watched a bit of that today mm. on the television. And they were just basically... I mean, the BBC's coverage was just farcical. They had a guy on a Skype connection, which, like, we're talking on now, and he said, well, I think it's a good idea, really, and I do think that the rich people should pay more. <laughs> I mean, this is full-blown <laughs> socialism now, isn't it? It is, yeah. If you don't know what socialism is, it's because you don't know what socialism is. We're here. We're already here. Mm -hmm. This is full-blown controlled socialism. This is where those that have are going to lose to those that have yet to take it. Yeah, yeah. Because this is a system of sophisticated, but not so sophisticated that we can't understand it, thievery. Thievery, yeah. It's a mafia control system. It plumbing well um, is. When, I mean, I think it's our ignorance of the, um, con the, mus uh, the music, the financial system. Isn't that where we keep falling down? Yeah. Isn't, it's because we don't really know how it works. No, we, we don't understand it, do we? And we don't care to understand it. We don't need to understand it. This because is what we keep, they keep telling us. We're presented with experts. Yes. And experts, investors, hedge, hedge fund. What the bloody hell's a hedge fund? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I do know what we it do is. We do know, don't we? But, you know, most people, what the hell's a hedge fund? Mm. What's the FSA? These yeah. people must know what they're doing. I mean, they're providing my pension. As somebody who's just recently got the pension, Ask them who's cashed it in. How, how'd it go? How's your forecasts worked out? <laughs> because here we are today in 2013, and the gambling casino stock market mm -hmm. is recovering to 2007 levels. <laughs> it's recovering to the, to, to the, uh, the level it was before the before last the time they pulled the plug out. <laughs> right? And people are getting excited. It's because their memories don't work, do they? No, they don't, no. All right? So what that means is that all the money you've put in over the past six years will be back to what it was in 2007. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you've just replaced your last six years' thievery yeah. because that's how much they stole off you. That's how much has gone out <laughs> of it, yeah, that's how much has disappeared. I mean, I'm not here to give financial <laughs> advice, but a five- and six-year-old should be able to figure this out, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Inflation is also pushing up that casino market. It's, yeah, they want inflation. Exactly, it's starting to push it up. So you think it's recovered. Mm. <laughs> it hasn't recovered at all. OK, it, it's, it's not a recovery. I mean, this isn't, it's, not, it's not a recession, it's a bloody robbery. It is, yeah. This isn't democracy, it, it, it's just a thievery. Mm. It's just where two idiots can outvote a bloody genius. Yeah. <laughs> isn't it really? It is really, yeah. But looking at real money, which we know what real money is, because... It's called the golden rule. It's called your golden years. It's called good as gold. Mm -hmm. Right? I mean, do we, have we forgotten that? I think we have. I'm not giving financial advice, but I'm going to give you a comparison. And I've taken this, yeah, off Mr. Salente. If you listen to Gerald Salente, you'll get the same advice. In 2007, gold, a gold coin, an ounce of gold, mm. was $716. I don't know what the market price is today, but I think it's about 1600 <laughs> something. I was going to say it's over 1000 so, the price of gold has more than doubled in the past six years, 
and you've just got back to where you were six years ago. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and what are they all doing? They've all been buying up gold, haven't they? Well, who, I don't know. The, the, they say the, so. The we're, gold market's as rigged as everything it else. It is, yeah, it's all I mean, you and I have conversations with people who think, and I, the word think is loosely, loosely applied to most people that we actually um, chat to, mm. that somehow we can beat this system. Well, with the level of intelligence that most people have, and this way of thinking, mm. we're never going to beat it. No, no. I mean, if you think sat on the internet is going to beat it, let me know how that goes in the next 10, 15, 20 years. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because you and I decode this, and it's very simple. We are now fish. In the control system, we are seen as nothing but fish, food. That's yeah. what we are. We're fish and food to, the mas uh, to, the, to our masters, mm. uh -huh, who bait us. They yeah. bait us. Our masters bait us. Mm -hmm. And you put that word together and decide what you want to do with it. I'm not going to do it for you. But we are the fish in the net being drowned. Okay, we are being drowned. If you think that's a load of rubbish, you haven't listened to the former shows. <laughs> because this is our decode. And the shows are there for you to find on our YouTube channel. Please feel free to listen to them. I think you and I have a unique method of decoding the language that makes an awful lot more sense that we can use in conversation. Mm -hmm. Because using it in conversation is the skill that we need to acquire to interest people to listen to it. Yeah. Right? Telling them it's going to be doom and gloom, you, you try and sell that all day. How's it working out? Because for me, it was a bloody disaster. <laughs> right? Worse for me, too. Right, right. There's too much doom and gloom. <laughs> Cyprus, that's where we were. We were, yeah. Oh. The Klondike. <laughs> the new Klondike. <laughs> it, was, it was digging for gold yeah. in <laughs> California. Now it's gone the total opposite. <laughs> right. They're now digging for gold in Cyprus. Uh, but the gold's in the banks. Now. Yes. <laughs> just for now. <laughs> I mean, what we have in Cyprus, I think everybody's decoded it pretty much correctly now, and that is that uh, they're testing the water. They are. They are testing the water, and Without this is where... This is where the, the Cypriot government, uh, on the verge of going bankrupt, runs the World Bank, who generates money out of... Uh, let me check. Let me... Uh, what, uh, uh, fresh uh, air? That's it. I knew it, <laughs> I knew it was a double-barrel bullshit something. <laughs> <laughs> so the World Bank actually now actually creates as much as you need, or as much as you've asked for, or how much they think they can rob off the people, they then digitally give it to the Cypriot government... Mm -hmm who does whatever they want to do with it, yeah. give it to the friends to keep the whole game going, mm. and then steal it off the mm. populace. Isn't that called money laundering? Isn't it called bloody stealing? <laughs> it's called holding them yeah. to ransom. It is, yeah. I mean, this, this was released on a Friday afternoon. <clears throat> bank shut Saturday, bank shut Sunday, or mm. most of them anyway. Bank holiday Monday, they shut today, they shut tomorrow. There's no cash in now in circulation. No. They can't get it out. No. Nope. The banks are closed and the cash machines are empty. Mm -hmm. Isn't what's really going on you're not having any money now until you agree. Until you agree, Isn't yeah. Isn't this a ransom demand? It is, yeah. Aren't the, the bank account holders of Cyprus being ransomed? Mm -hmm. This is the invisible gun that you know exists, saying, right, what we want is, well, we'll just have a meeting and let you know mm -hmm. how much we're having. And that's usually in all negotiations. They turned up with the, uh, we want 10 to 12% of everything. Yeah. Right? Well, they always do that. They do, you, yeah. Because they're going to negotiate. <laughs> right? they're, they're all, I mean, they're always, we're going to put four pence on petrol. So, the red tops, the star sun mirror control system, okay, in, uh, they, we're going to put up a fight. Down with the fuel tax. Mm -hmm. so, well, we'll just put it up 2p then. <laughs> well, how about a penny? Yeah. And oh. then we claim a victory. Yeah. Well, that's exactly what's happening in Cyprus, isn't it? It is, yeah. They came with the 10 to 12%, mm -hmm. and now it's been negotiated down, and the people at the bottom who haven't got anything, mm -hmm. well, are they happy to see those above them being made poorer? Because in this sick, upside-down world we live, isn't that what's going on? Yeah. Aren't the people who've got nothing, because I've done this, I've done this test in my little um, shop today, First of all, I couldn't get anybody to talk to me about what's going on in Cyprus. Half didn't know and half didn't care. But what that told me was that uh, the people who have nothing in the bank have got nothing to be scared of. No, nothing to be scared of, no. And is it not true, Your Honour, <laughs> is it not true, Your Honour, <laughs> that if we're honest, there is a large number of people living at the slave level who know that they cannot achieve get out of this drowning debt 
So they think, rather than, I can't get out, so they almost enjoy other people's failures. Yeah. And I'm prepared to admit, maybe six, seven, eight years ago, I ran my shop with the very intention to crush my competition. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. I'm prepared to... I'll, I'll admit yeah. that. Mm. I wanted to crush the competition and be the only fish and chip shop in Ripon. Mm -hmm. And I plotted how to do it. Mm -hmm. Now, I knew I couldn't do them all, so I started with the one nearest. <laughs> and then you start with the next one. Isn't that what's really it going is. on here? Yeah. And uh, isn't that just a little description mm -hmm. of what's going on? On every level. Yeah. Because once you accept those different levels, like the artist at three years old, who's just painting the sun if he's lucky, with the, you know, the watercolour, it, it, it's, is it a painting even? Mm -hmm. Well, as far as he's concerned, it is. Because <laughs> the first thing children want to do is paint pictures, isn't it? Yeah. They don't want to write. No, no. They don't no. want to read. No. Nope. Their first instinct is to paint. Mm -hmm. Well, why? Well... We can argue about why, but we can actually agree on what they paint. Mm. Now, what they paint is what they see, <laughs> don't they? I do, yeah. And they paint the sun, and it's usually got a house in it. Yes. And the house is perfect. Um, yeah, on a green hill and somewhere. It's, it's usually got a hill in it. <laughs> and sometimes the kids put the stars in as well, even, yeah. even when we've got the sun. Even the sun's out, yeah. yeah. And we always put mum and dad, if you're lucky, and there might be a cow in there. Mm. Yeah, and then there's a river. Yeah. Right? And what the kids do is they use the entire piece of paper, don't they? They fill it right up. They absolutely paint the entire thing. Yeah. Because the kids see the full picture. They do. That's what, they're, that's what they, they, they naturally want to do. I want to see the whole picture. But what happens when they're about eight, nine and ten? Mm. Right? They don't paint pictures like that anymore, do they? No. They paint pictures of single objects. Yeah. And they don't fill the paper, do no, they? No, they're usually right in the middle of the paper. That's right. But they don't mm. fill. They don't they? Don't no. fill right to the edges. No, no. You see, so the pictures become smaller. Yeah, you lose the skills, don't you? That's of, right. Of, so yeah. we we find of the three-year-old who freely paints what he sees. We find um, a teenager at best, or at least eight, nine, ten years old, who now paints a smaller, more focused picture. Mm. Then we get to the art student who paints what. Not what they see, but what they think the world looks like. Yeah. And then we get the artist himself, who paints a story into a picture. Yeah. With a meaning. The different some levels. some kind of meaning but in it. But the different yeah. levels. Mm. Well, the only one that's got a real meaning of any value is the top level. Mm. Right? The levels below are just steps to achieving that level. Yeah. In other words, as you go up the level, the first step has very little value but except to you. Mm. The second step has very little value except to you. The third step has some value, but you have to get judged by others. others yeah. Now it's not valuable to you, it's whether it's valuable to others. Mm. And the last step is, now will others buy it? Yeah. Well, that's reality, isn't it? Mm. Well, which level are we on? <laughs> We're on the bloody first We're level, aren't we? We're on the first we? one still, yeah. We're still on the first level. Yeah. Because most of the things we do, and most of the things we talk about, and much of what we don't create but think we create, mm -hmm. right, nobody wants to know. No. No one wants to listen to us. Because, because we're not, it's not valuable. Did I make a real mess of trying to describe while we're failing <laughs> in, 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 in transmitting the truth? <laughs> because if I have... No, I... Bugger it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a good analogy. Yeah, I, got, I saw where you were going with it. You know, it, it's... We're at the bottom level. We are, yeah. But we're trying to get the people who've got the money to buy it. Mm. Because the people who've got no money left, and I'm not going to be nasty to them, they're already slaves. Yeah, yeah. You know you're slaves. Mm. You, you know you are. I, I include myself, although at the moment, at the moment I'm in credit, but only bloody just. Mm. I mean, you know, I'm not retiring any time bloody soon, I'll tell you. I'll never retire. No. Your pension will be available the day after you mm. you, you die. <laughs> 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 so, yes, we need to. Um, we really need to work out how to make what it is that we have valuable. Yeah. And I think it is through comedy and intrigue and wordplay, just like they program <laughs> us. They do. Just it always do. starts in the comedy mm -hmm. and the intrigue, yeah. and then comedy is usually about other people's failures and faults. Yeah. Yeah, mm. and we laugh at other people's failures and faults. Then it becomes part of the conversation, and we're still laughing at it. Mm. 
But why are we laughing at it? Why are we laughing? Because the change that I, from, from wanting to crush all my competition, where I am today, <coughs> is completely different. Because now I say, I want all my competition to be as busy as busy can be. Yeah. And I want all my customers to arrive in brand new cars. Mm. Because now not only do we have a flourishing economy, but I've got an arena that I can compete in. Yeah. And my talents will be rewarded should they be considered valuable, valuable yeah. by others. Other, yeah. And I want that mm. for everybody. And if another shop is busier than me, then I ask myself, yeah. why? Why aren't I as busy as them? And then I want to improve. Yeah, I want to But I don't want, to I don't want them to fail. No, no. No, I want to share in the success yeah. that is obviously available. Mm. Yeah. I know reality's broken, mm. but that's what I want for, for yeah. my, for my comp competitors. Mm. So I can live in a rewards-based uh, economy. Yeah. If I'm good at something, I'll survive. Yeah. If I'm rubbish at it, I'll find something else. Yeah, you need to find something else that you're good at. Because the school is never designed to teach me what I need. No, it that definitely it, isn't. It no. teaches me what they need. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> if you feel you want to uh, contact us, uh, please feel free to do so. The Facebook contacts, which we don't use very often, but no. we, do, we do check our posts, don't we? We do, yep. I mean, this virtual reality, mm -hmm. I do go and check my post every morning. Yes, yes. Right? I don't go shopping on it. No. Okay? I don't chat to my friends on it. No. Right? <laughs> I don't do any business on it. All right? And I don't entertain myself on it. No, me neither. I just but, use it as but, a news stream. But that's virtual reality. Yeah. That's what's been built. How many people do check the post on it? Well, most of us do. Mm -hmm. How many people chat to their friends on it? Most. Mom, too, a lot of people do. Yeah, just about How many people go shopping on it? Mm, most people do. <laughs> <laughs> How many people do business on it? Yeah. Mm, a few. Mm -hmm. How many people pay their bills with it? Uh, quite a lot. Mm -hmm. How many people entertain themselves on it? Very many. Mm. Well, you'll never need to go out soon, will you? You won't, no. You'll, 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 just, you'll, <laughs> just, you'll just sit here, yeah. right, imagining that you've got a real <laughs> big world, and it'll all be in that little box. <laughs> you can even order takeaways on it now, can't you? But that's what I'm saying, <laughs> right? You'll be sat here, right, looking into this box, thinking, that's my world. Mm. Cos it is. And it's a glow, yeah, it's massive, I can go anywhere on that. Yeah. I can, sp I, can, I can contact friends around the around world. Around the world, yeah. I can keep in contact with everybody who mm. loves me. Yeah, if I stay up late enough. Right, they're not going to help you. <laughs> <laughs> they're not going to help you, are they? <laughs> All right? <laughs> they're not going to fix your leaks or help you fix or do your gut, whatever. Mm. Right, they're not going to come and do it. No. It's pretend. Mm, it is. <sighs> But still we do it. We do, yeah. This spying, listening enemy in the room, even when it's off, mm. it can listen. Yeah. And you know it's recording and watching you. You know it's reporting back to headquarters what you're up to. Mm -hmm. We're in a bloody war. Mm. We've been in a war in our entire lives. We have. Our entire lives we have been warred against. Mm -hmm. And you know what? We're not British lions, are we? No. We're not, are we? No, we're not. We're a bunch of bloody cowards. We're a bunch of cowards, And, yeah. the, and the language confirms it. Yeah, yeah. And I know soldiers might be listening and say, I'm nothing of the sort. Question your superior officer. <laughs> Question your orders. <laughs> Ask them why you're killing people. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, yeah. No, you can't do that. You're no, not allowed to do no. that. No, you're not allowed to. No, you just got to follow now, orders. Now, I understand soldiers are brave. I know they are brave in the John Wayne brave way. If they're prepared... To be shot at. Mm -hmm. they, they are shot at. Now, I understand that this is something that we should be grateful for. The soldier thing is such a hot topic that I always think I make a mess of it when I try it. It's not that I don't think soldiers are brave. It's just that I don't think soldiers know why they're doing what they're doing. I think they're doing as they're told. Mm. Well, children do as they're told. Grown-ups yeah. ask questions. Mm. But which are we? Yeah. I mean... Are they servants or masters? Mm. Because either if they're servants, they do as we tell them. If they're masters, 
we do as they tell us. Yeah. So which is it? The mirror is broken now, isn't it? Yeah. The illusion is over. This political paradigm of control has got to stop. This reds and blues, it's over. Mm -hmm. The red lodge and the blue locks, the Oxford versus the Cambridge, the yeah. hot versus the cold, just mix them together and that'll keep them nice and yeah. happy. I, you, can, you can tell we're at war, and, and it, I know there's this, this war on terror, but it's the language they're using. This, um, we're up, the Cameron started off with it, didn't we're all in it together. Yeah. That's just what they said in World War Two. We're all in this together, we've all got to pull together. And, and they've made um, yeah, uh, analogies of, of, of us trying... We've got to pull through this crisis together. This, you know, we, we've all got to do our bit and, and they're going to try and get us to work six days, work seven days a week, but only get paid for six. And that's... that Because we've got to... To get something out of this system, you've got to put something in. Uh -huh. and, and I, it's coming, isn't it? It's, it it is. is coming. And, and what happened, we had, in the, we had blackouts, didn't we? Uh -huh. the, the electricity had to go off and the curtains had to be blacked out. And that's what, we're going, that's what they're working towards now. Yeah, but the it's a more sophisticated method, It is method, a more sophisticated method see, this, of turning the lights off. This, this Cypriot thievery is going to turn up again in country after country after country. Mm. But are they going to raid your bank accounts? <laughs> well, I don't know. Let's see how this we'll one goes see how first. It pads out, yeah. But that's not what we've got to share. What we've got to share is that it is. We're up, they're at war with us. They are. They have intercepted our communications. They have. Okay. They have propagandised the people. Yeah. Right? They have contaminated the food. Yeah. They've contaminated the water supply. They control it all. They've corrupted. Mm. They've corrupted the forces. Yeah. And the justice system. They've corrupted the politicians. <laughs> But I'm saying they, it's wrong. The system is built this way. Mm -hmm. Every generation becomes more corrupt than the last one. Yeah, we've... And the resource becomes harder to get. Mm. Quantitative easing is just diluting the beer. Mm. It takes more to get you drunk. Yeah. That's what's going on. So, they are having to pour more in to get it back out again. Because corruption is bloody expensive. It is. It costs a lot costs of money. A... <laughs> it costs a fortune. <laughs> it does. Uh, a quick congratulations to the artist taxi driver. Yes. Uh, Mark must... McGowan, who won't come on the show, but I don't watch a lot of it, but I I'm just going to say congratulations, Mark. He's now got noticed by Zero Hedge <laughs> and Info Wars. <laughs> so good luck with that, Mark. I love his delivery style. Yes. I, I, I it's not for everybody. I can't play it on the air because <laughs> no, I, I don't choose to... I, I, that's not the, the language that we choose to use. No. Love him. Yeah. Mark McGowan, the artist taxi driver. If you're not already subscribed, where have you been? Yeah. It, it, he doesn't always get it 100% right. But do, does any does of any, us... Do any of us. It, it, yeah. does, it doesn't matter. We're only going on the information I we've been given. the passion, mm. the power, and the information, which is absolutely spot on. Mm. I'm not even going to be picky. It's absolutely spot on most of the time. Yeah. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Got noticed. I hope his message is heard by many, many more people. <laughs> so congratulations <laughs> to Mark. You know, that sort of passion is hard to find. It is hard to find. But we know, we know. I mean, something's happened to our little group over the past three or four or five months, hasn't it? Our little group is becoming not a little group anymore. No. It's becoming a bigger group. Mm. And one of the problems that we're having with this bigger group is that everybody's got here by a different method. They have. And they've seen different things along the way. Yep. And what they bring us is what they've seen. Mm -hmm. And that's what we've done. Yeah. But we understand what you've seen. Have you touched it, tasted it, smelt it, and brought a bit with you yeah. so we can feel it and touch it and taste it and smell it too? Yes, because that's what we react to. That's right, because... In this court of public opinion, that you and I, uh, we, we, it's, it's, it's gathering well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You know, we've got the groups of yeah. seven or eight. It's only seven or eight. Mm. It's better than one and two. Mm. Anyway, in the court of public opinion, if you want to be heard and believed, you've got to bring something yeah. that's called evidence. Mm. And if it's just that you've seen it, well, is it S-E-E-N that you really saw it? Mm. Or is it S-C-E-N-E? -E? Yeah. That well, you were shown it in scene. the virtual reality. Yeah, a scene of a show. That That's right. Was it just part of a bigger on. show? Yeah. I mean, are we actually just performing a show? Well, confirmed, yes, we are. Mm -hmm. This is our radio show. Yes. Isn't it? Yeah. Now, not all shows are counterfeit, but it depends what's in it mm. as to whether it's real. Yeah. Now then, 
I listen to lots and lots of, or I have listened to lots and lots of shows over uh, three or four years. Have they helped me get to where I am today? Yes. How do I mean? I realised that once I got the gist of it, I still was not thinking for myself. No. This, That's the this, key, isn't This it? thinking for yourself thing, right? Mm. You look at the internet and it says, think for yourself, and you think, I am. <laughs> well, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> you're not. Right? You're, you're just not. You've, what, you've turned the television off because you know that programmes you, mm. but you know this one is TV 2.0. Mm. Okay, so instead of the TV programming you, now you program yourself. Mm. Right? You do it. Mm. So you pick what flavour of programming you want mm. and do it yourself. Yep. Genius. Absolute genius. Marvellous. Did you, look, I mean, off, after the initial apprenticeship on the internet, <laughs> right? And we all have to do it. Well, yeah, you've I'm got I'm not a... saying it doesn't no. have to be done. But it is just an apprenticeship. Mm. Because you need to leave this thing alone. And pick up a book. And, and well, with the internet is the past. Mm. Even if it's just happened, it's the past. Well, the past is a word we use to indicate the dead. Right? The dead. Yep. Now, you can spend all day trying to wake the dead. Mm -hmm. Good luck with that one. <laughs> okay? Because waking the dead, if you should manage to do it, is to create zombies. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So, the internet is designed to wake the dead. And turn them into zombies. Mm. Look around. Look around. Mm. Right? So, living in the past. Well, good luck with that one. All right? Yep. But the future. Well, what's the future? Yeah, what is the future? Well, if, if you dream about it, it becomes a dream of the future. Yeah. Well, can you achieve it? Ask yourself. Can you achieve this dream that you want the future to be? Well, if you think it's world peace in our time, mm. equality and fairness and justice for everybody, <laughs> good luck with that one. Good luck with all of those, yeah. <laughs> good luck with that one. It's a good dream, and I'm not going to tell you off for having it, but don't make it your only dream. No. Dream small. Mm. Don't dream big. Dream small, <clears throat> because you have to live... In the present. Yeah. Now, the present's a bit different, OK? Because if I give you the present, you'll say, what is it? And for me, it's an empty book with some photograph slots in it. Mm. And now, you write your own book. Yeah. Now, if you copy and paste it <laughs> from the past... Yeah. It's not your book, is it? No. If you copy and paste it... From the future that you're dreaming, mm. it's not real. No, that ain't a reality, is it? So what are you going to put in your book? Mm. What is the present for you? Mm. Interesting challenge. It but is. There's a book in everybody, apparently. Apparently they say that, Book yeah. in everybody. <laughs> we are back then. It is Tuesday, the 19th of March, 2013. Uh, you listen to Paul and my pal... Andy. And here we are again live for the second part of the show. It was once a two-hour show, but it was too long, wasn't it? Yes. I think to ask people for two hours is a little bit too yep. much. Too the much. Facebook contacts, yep, the Facebook contacts are underneath this very YouTube video you're listening to now. We're on Blog Talk Live every Tuesday evening, mm -hmm. 9 till 11 p.m. GM, well, 9 till after, just after 10 yep. p.m. GMT. We sit and we try and help uh, some people who, who perhaps appreciate it decode the language because... We know we've been programmed. We do. Okay, we know computers are programmed and we are the best computer that ever's ever been ever built. Ever been built, yeah. And what's happening is the computers that we decorate our houses with, the, the internal spies that are watching us, okay? I mean, it's just brilliant. But the computers that have been built are, okay, not only trying to catch up with what we really are, mm -hmm. but they're trying to improve on what we really are. Yes, they are. And, and it's very clever, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's like, uh, don't bother going on a diet, just make your friends fat. So, rather than invest on, rather than giving us really smart computers, mm. just make the population stupid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, co control the whole development of computers, 
Right? Yep. Make sure that every generation is a bit thicker than the last one. Yeah. And then they'll love these computers they that will. can do what they used to be able to do. Yeah. Like read and write and add up yeah. and communicate. Have your own Android. Yeah. <laughs> but we've seen the future. <laughs> Maybe that these computers, who some people now call their best friends, mm. the miniature versions, mm. they sleep with them. Yeah. <laughs> they had, mm. I mean... We've seen that the development is going to continue. And I've said before, and I'll say it again, your house is going to be your jail cell. Mm -hmm. But you'll be okay with that. Yeah. And you'll decorate it and clean it, and everything you need will be piped into your cell. Because mm -hmm. you won't realise you're in prison. <laughs> you won't know. And I think they're going to let us play to our heart's content yeah. while we kill ourselves. Mm -hmm. I actually think so. And we, I say while we kill ourselves, and I mean that as well. We actually now, you have to be some level of stupid to actually not realise that we've now clearly been told the food is contaminated. Yeah. We've been told very clearly now, haven't we? We have, yeah. The food is contaminated. Watch the little bit of the best bits of children in need. And by God, that, that widens up a real, a real scope, doesn't it? Mm. Because, look around, I know they call themselves adults, which is just a shortened version of adulterated. Mm -hmm. But aren't we surrounded by children in need? Yes, we are. Wearing the onesies. Yeah. And challenging the kids to uh, come up with the, uh, you know, the, 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 the highest score on the video game. Yeah. Or the new pair of trainers. Yeah. You, the, you can't tell the difference between grown-ups no. and children because the kids there actually is no difference. Telling the parents to turn this off and turn that off because we've got to save the planet. The little poisonous green agenda. <laughs> yeah. Poisonous green. Poison's always green, isn't it? it is, yeah. It's always it's bloody always green. A green bottle, yeah. And the thing about poison is, the thing about poison is, <clears throat> well, you wouldn't eat it if it didn't taste nice. No. This is the clever thing about poison, isn't it? Mm. And we don't have to go back too far to realise that it was the favourite method. Mm. It was the favoured method by classes maybe above us, mm. wasn't it? Yeah. Wasn't it the ladies, uh, the, the, the ladies used to use poison? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? But history says the uh, poison was a, a very popular method of uh, getting rid of your overtime, wasn't it? Mm. While, yeah. while making you sick and pretending <laughs> to help. Yeah. yeah. It was the doctor who was... Filling you full of the poison well, but that sounds familiar, don't it? Does, it? Yeah. Doesn't that sound familiar? It does, yeah. Doctor Who. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. The World Health Organization. The World Health yeah. Organization, yeah. But they don't promise to make you better. No, no. They didn't promise that. No. No, they promised to vaccinate you. Yep. Yeah. They and promised to vaccinate you. And we know the word vaccine is cow. Mm. Cow. Cow nation. Cow nation, yeah. Cow creation. Because <laughs> nation is creation. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's beyond belief, isn't it? Because we are in a war, it's a boxing match, and they're trying yeah. to put us into a smaller and smaller box. Box, yeah. And they get us to talk about. About, yeah. About, and about this and about that. Ding, to ding. score points. Round one, round two, But here's two, the sick bit. Three. Here's the sick bit. A boxing match involves jabs and shots. <laughs> it does, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but what they're doing to our little children. They're doing the same to them. Jabs, jabs and, and shots. shots. This is a system of evil. Mm. This is a system that knows what it's doing. If you haven't watched Eyes Wide Shut, watch it. Yeah, watch that if, film. Yeah, it, we've been taught that male and female at our level, equality. I have no problem with that. No problem at all. Right, we're equal. Mm. I, I understand that. Yeah. That's not the way it works. Next, next level up, is it? No. No, 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 no. We've been taught that marriage, <laughs> right, yeah. marriage is what we should be doing. Yes. Okay. And, well, let's have a look at the marry age. Mm. Now, we know the word marry is the word C. C, yeah. Yeah. Mm. So we know it's the, the C age. Mm. And anybody who's done a little bit of studying, if you haven't, you're not going to get this, but I'm not going to... You'll have to do it yourself. It's in the videos that we've done prior. Mm. Go back through the channel and listen to what we've done, especially the decode part one, and we're going to do the decode part two next week. Yeah. With Pippa. Mm. Um... Anyway, it's the marry age, the sea age, but that's just this level. Mm -hmm. That's just for us. Yeah. It moves along as you go up the levels. But what I'm saying about marriage is we've been taught that marriage is a contract between a man and a woman. Yeah, betrothed. Well, well, betrothed, exactly. Mm -hmm. But it's actually a sex deal, isn't it? Yep. The, the basis of this contract, 
right? This this make us smaller mm-hmm. contract contractors. The yeah. basis of it is that uh, you won't have sex with anybody else, and I won't. I promise. Yeah. Isn't that the promise? That's the, that promise. the basis of marriage. Yep. So why is it called the CH? Because yeah. we live in a duality. Done that before. S E E S E A. Okay? Mm-hmm. Land and sea. Yeah? So what are we marrying together? Well, we're marrying what we see from a duality into a singularity. Mm-hmm. And the computer, the, the, the boffins totally tell you that the computers will take us to the point of singularity. Yeah. I don't know. That's what they call it, isn't it? It is, yeah. Two into one. Two into one, yeah. Uh huh. Two into bloody one. Anyway, that, but that's not the end of the decode. Because age denotes a length of time, a numerical length of time. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Well, are we in the maritime age? Yeah. So are we mari- I mean, if you don't think we're under martial law, good on you. <laughs> You've been under martial law your entire life. Mm-hmm. This is a navigator's control system. And they are the navigators. This is the ship of state. And you'll get thrown overboard when you're no good to them. Yeah, you will. And that's what's happened here. Mm. Now, these ships of state are being taken over, which is why they want your flag. Mm. Because when pirates board a ship and assume control of it, they take your flag off you. They do. And put their own in place. Raise their own. Yes, they do. And that's what they're after, isn't it? Yep. Now they want our flags. Right. So... If we don't understand that this is how they're playing, these people are pirates. Yeah. These people are pirates. Always have been, always will be. And pirates, as we've been taught by the internet, copy. But the internet gives you genuine copies. (laughs) (laughs) So what is the uh, Antichrist again? Mm. Yeah, what is he? Let's look at the definition. No, you look at the definition, you get back to me. Yeah. Yeah, all seeing, all knowing. Yeah, comes, mm. pretends to be your friend. Speaks in, all, in the language, you know. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Well, if this isn't the Antichrist, mm. what's next? What mm. is? Of course it bloody is. It is, yeah. Of course it is. Mm. Pretends to be your friend while spying and reporting back to headquarters every bloody time. Mm. The- right, let's, let's move along then, because I've talked about... No preparation again, I apologise. No, that's... Let's, let's, let's change direction. And you know how we change direction? With oars, don't we? We do, yeah. <laughs> so, how do we change direction when, we, when, when we're conversing? Well, we, we give ourselves choices. Shall we go left or uh-huh. right? Right, yeah. <laughs> so, choose left or right. So, shall I speak next or shall you? <laughs> <laughs> let's change direction. You take the oars. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Uh, I just wanted to carry on a little bit from last week, if you were listening. Um, and uh, we had a few comments from last week's show. Thank you to Nick again in Cornwall. And another, I think it was a lady that, that asked about um, the decode for the devil, and you responded to that, I noticed, um, on, uh, on the YouTube channel there. So we, if you, and we answer all questions. We, we, are we try all, to. All seeing, all knowing. All doing. And if we get stuck, we just use internet. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. every bugger else does. <laughs> but we've got a unique decode, because what we talk about, I can't find elsewhere. No, no, nobody else seems to talk this way, I've noticed. I don't understand at all. No, I no. don't. We know the word power is possession of water. Yeah. Yeah, if you didn't have possession of water, you had no power at all. <laughs> power kept you well, and if you came to the well, you were welcome. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's very simple, isn't and, it? And we did... Water, war two, war two. War two, war which two. was in the old English, yeah, exactly. wasn't it? The strong and strong water, water were two words that were right. kept. And what, and what is it the elites are most frightened of? Well, I'll tell you what the elites are most <laughs> frightened of. I can speak on their behalf because I read the, I read the writings that they, they, they give us. mm mm-hmm. Well, they don't give them to us, no, the, but they allow us to read them. They allow us to read because them, Because the yeah. library was provided to us, because mm. they never promised to teach us anything. Okay, they give us lessons. We've done that one. Yeah. But the library was there to provide any book we wanted yes. for free. But, In other words, don't rely on us to do it, but you can do it yourselves. Yeah. And this is how the vampires work. They give you the opportunity to join yeah. or, or not. Yeah. You can learn or you can be ignorant. Mm. We chose ignorance. And we're now paying for the price. We are. These people have now taken control and um, are manufacturing wonderful ways to bankrupt us all. Yeah. And it's all going very well. Mm-hmm. But back to library, which is Libra, which is skills. Skills, yes. That's right. And Libra, it, that's exactly what it is. And she also holds a store as well, doesn't she? The Easy skills of justice. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've had a, I've had a John Smith. Um, but uh, 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 what was I thinking about the sword? Uh, uh, weapons of... Um, 
weapons of peace. <laughs> <laughs> It's like that, them eco-friendly bullets. Be, yeah, eco. Yeah. <laughs> I just giggled when I heard that. Weapons of peace. I thought, yeah, what? Whatever. Anyway. But yeah, but the, their peace is different to our peace. Oh, yeah. Well, what are the elites frightened of? You, uh, <laughs> what are the, they're frightened. They're, they're frightened of being domesticated. Yeah. That's what frightens them most. Mm. We are so domesticated now, they have so given us a way of life that we think is normal. They don't follow any they, of it. They don't. Right, they don't respect the women. I mean, you men- the women you don't have equal status. You mentioned marriage. They get married, but they don't follow the marriage vows and all the things that they, they just do. They just reproduce the bloodline like the royals yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. Reproduce the bloodline, do what you want after that. Yeah. All right, do what you want. Mm. Right, they join the clubs uh-huh, and, and dig holes. They, well, they join the clubs, give us a spade. We dig the holes and they push us in. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we dig the holes and then they push us in. Yeah. Look around, that's exactly what we're doing. I mean, mm. everything confirms that we're living in a world of true lies. Mm-hmm. This is true lies. Nothing else. It cannot be anything else. What they tell us to live like is not at all what they live like at no, all. not at all. They want to remain wild, and th- they remain wild because they've engineered a control system that uh, ensures they remain wild. Mm-hmm. Because each generation has to be prepared to go a little further than the one before. Yeah. So they become more wild, while we become more tame. Mm-hmm. You see? Cut. Yeah? Cut and tame, dissect or mate, mm. domesticate. Domesticate. Yeah. It, that, it's, it's, it, that's it. Mm. It's that easy. Yeah. That is the word domesticate. And we become tamer, they become more wild. And the one thing about a wild animal is a wild animal understands, right, that if his prey is too easy to catch, he'll not become a skilled hunter. He'll become a less skilled hunter than his, his mum and his, uh, his dad and his granddad and this mm. sort of thing. So he'll eventually become domesticated because his prey virtually walks into every trap he sets. Yeah. Well, here we are. We're getting to that point, aren't we? We are. But are they more... No. No, they're wilder than ever because they understand they have to maintain that, that ruthlessness, mm. which should be truthlessness, <laughs> of they're prepared to do anything... And look at what they're doing. They're poisoning us from every which way we can. From the internet, to the food, to the water, yeah. to the education, mm. to, to the words we can say, to the fact that racism matters. Mm. Right, race, there well, is, the, we, we don't see racism until we're taught it exists. No, but they, they keep the other countries poor to, so that they can parade as in, uh, them in front of us every, once a year. To say, children, oh, and children in bloody need. Uh, yeah, I um, watched that and I, I felt uh, sick watching co- was that. It comic, oh, comic relief. Comic relief. I'm thinking of comic relief. I mean, you almost look at those words. It's listen, listen. Comic relief. Mm. It, are they taking a the piss? <laughs> yeah, well, it sounds like it, doesn't it? It does to me. Yeah, it sounds yeah, like they're if you say, having a right old it's, laugh. It's, it's it's a comic or a joke car. Mm. It's not a real car. So if you say it's a comic relief, mm. is it really? Mm. Is it bloody really relief? I mean, I don't, uh, I don't watch... Uh, I didn't watch it very much. No. But I'll tell you what I did watch. And I watched a sketch with this guy, this American. And he went a bit like this. Right, I'm, I'm meant to be doing a, a promo bit for the comic... Re- comic relief? What a stupid name that is. Comic relief, really? And I have to tell them to $10, right? I have to give them $10. Right, okay, start me. Let's get the recording going. Right, my name's so and so, so and so from America, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Comic relief, $10. And he's raking in his coat for $10, right? He's actually looking for pockets in his coat. And he said, I can't believe it. $100,000 mint coat and there's not a pocket in it. That's taking the mickey, isn't it? It is taking the mickey to the point of. (sighs) I felt sick watching it. Yeah. Only watched 10 or 15 minutes. Comic relief. Well, you decide. But they, they have spun us with words because to be spun is to were yeah. and, to live, and, and to be dead is the past tense. Mm-hmm. So the past tense of, to be spun is word. Word, yeah. We're living in the past. No wonder the, 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 the law system or the legal system, let's not argue about it, sees us as the dead. We're classified as the dead. We're classified as the corpse, mm. aren't we? Yeah. That's right. And... and, and <sighs> Where were we going there? Because you started, didn't you? <laughs> you started, and, and I didn't. Uh, I didn't get it at all. It, it was the elites, really, and um, how they don't do anything. Uh, they, they make uh, the rules up for us to follow, 
and they don't follow any of their own rules. Um, whether it be marriage, uh, bringing up the kids, because um, they always get nannies to look after them anyway while they're off doing whatever they want to do. Um, they tell us we've got to look after the planet well, and the don't, animals. They don't bring up the kids, uh, they send them to indoctrination t- school. T- take they're them called, off on safaris, and called, shooting everything. And they're called boarders. Boarders, yes. You see, get on the ship early. <laughs> yes. You have to get on the ship early. <laughs> they certainly are. You see, the ship's out for us now. We've been thrown up. We've been thrown oh, up. Oh, like years ago. We went and, we bit, and we're hooked on the internet. Um, it's it's just we've we've had these conversations. Where where do we go? We, we've asked people, haven't we? We've had guests. What? Why are he, why are we here? What are we doing? And where are we going? And they don't know. And they, they don't know. Nobody knows. And no, but we. It's an educated guess, isn't it? But we we I um, I know why I was here. I definitely know why I was here. I was here put here to um, replicate myself. Uh, and have a family. You've had a family, I've had a family. My kids are not going to be able to afford to have a family. They're not even thinking about having children. So, as you were saying, that they're killing us off. We're going to kill ourselves off. It, they, they've got us into a situation where we can't even afford to reproduce. And, yeah, people, you can shout at me all you like, what about these young girls having kids and to... Have yeah, that... Uh, that's that's not what they've, these elites have told us to do. They've told us to get married, be monogamous, bring up your family, love your wife, blah, blah, blah. And I do that. I, I, do, I do that. I've been married for 26 years. Um, I'm in my uh, 26th year of marriage. Um, I've, I've, it, has it been a struggle? Bloody hell, it has been a struggle, yes. Um, do we get on all the time? No, we don't get on all the time. And I don't want to see eye to eye all the time. Um, we, we, we've got to um, bounce things off each other. We can't agree on everything. If we agreed on everything, it'd be boring. Um, <laughs> if it was all lovey-dovey and nice and, oh, yes, love, no, dear, oh, yeah. N- no, you've got to have that. Um, spark. There's got to be something. That, that's how we make spark. You rub stuff together. You rub a balloon on your head, and um, you rub your feet on the carpet, and you touch somebody, and it gets a spark going. It's uh, electricity. It's magnetism. It's 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 everything about what encompasses this world, and and that's what they're trying to destroy, and they are destroying it. Um, and and these uh, they've been pushing the royal family just at the moment as well. I tell you what to watch. If you don't believe about Agenda 21, watch Country File on a Sunday. That is absolutely Agenda 21 through and through and through. And these farmers, where we get our food from, that they think that they're, they're not bothered. We, I've spoke to farmers. They're happy to grow GM crops. Um, they're not bothered about the water. Uh, they're not bothered about the air. Um, uh, go to um, uh, a good place to go is uh, Eden Project. Get yourself down to the Eden Project. See what the elites have done there and what... <laughs> what go to Kew Gardens. It, the, the, Kew Gardens, they put it right in front of your face um, of what they've done to us and what they're doing to us. And, uh, and it's absolutely amazing. You've got to get out there, educate yourself, read some books, do the internet. Do, but... Join my cliented people like we've done. We've attracted. It's taken five or six years. Were you in a six year or fifth year? Certainly five. Certainly but we've five, we've yeah. attracted some people um, that have listened to what we're talking about and they've, they've, they've turned up and they've wanted to do things. And last week we did something. Um, we, we, we expelled a myth. Um, we've uh, found a way of uh, doing something for ourselves. I won't tell you exactly what it is. Um, but um, if people want to share, come to us. Come and have, yes. We'll share everything. We don't have secrets. No. But things of value are going to be shared with those that value them. That value them, yes. That's right. And it's not a monetary value. No. We have been programmed our entire lives to believe that the paper chase <laughs> is all that matters. And wasn't the freedom, the, the, I don't know if I said this at the beginning of the show. The release from the paper chase is the hurdle, the fence of freedom number one. Mm. Isn't that what it is when you realise what a mug's game the paper chase is? Mm. Because it is a game for mugs. Yeah. Because we're being mugged. We are being mugged, yes. We are being mugged and we're going to carry on being mugged. Because we're not going to... We're not going to lift ourselves up to the level of consciousness that we need to understand 
that we don't want to play this game. No. So why are we taking part? Mm. The system, I, I really, really hope that, um, and uh, this might sound a bit controversial, good, I'm not selling anything, if you don't like it, I don't mind. You could free to reply. Mm. If the government of this country says that we're going to loot the bank accounts um, of the entire country for 10%, if I dream something tonight, this will be the dream, that enough people say, no, you're not. Mm. And they'll say, but the entire system will collapse. The too big to fails will fail. Yeah. And if I dream tonight, I'll say, bring it on. Because mm. we are the money. We are. We are the money. Yeah. And if their system collapses, marvellous. Yeah. Because we'll just knock one up of our own. We will. And carry on regardless. We will, and it is possible. Are we going to suffer if we don't go along with this? Of course we are. Yeah. Do we actually do this for me and you? No. No. Is there any financial benefit to us? No. 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 Are we going to see the benefit of what we're trying to achieve? No. No, we're not. Not really. No. But what we can do... Not in the is, future, we're not. ...is no. benefit in a small in way. In a small way, we can. Grow your own food. Yes. Repair your own problems. Mix with people who can help with things that you're going to need. Need, yes. Electric, plumbing... Yes. ...even cooking... Yeah. Um, ...maintenance, mechanicking... Yeah. Right, the things that you actually need is the people that you should be trying... Because self-employed people get this, mm -hmm. right? Now, the people who work for the machine, right, they're not going to get this. No. Right, the machine has got to the point now of employing, right, people who don't make anything. Mm -hmm. They find people who can't create anything. Yeah. These are the people who actually punch them... Uh, they actually pinch themselves in the mirror every <laughs> morning and go, I can't believe I've got this job. Well, they, and those people are usually going to a lot of meetings. Of course they do. Yes. That's right. I'm going to work, I'm going to a meeting. Or paperwork. Yes. I mean, it's just a joke. <laughs> it is. You're shifting around bits of bloody paper. <laughs> I mean, and that's work. <laughs> ah, but it's what's on the paper. <laughs> yeah, but it's research. <laughs> it's already known. It is. There's only you didn't know it. <laughs> but, yeah, going back to what you were saying, it's... it's um, um, involving yourself with people, of like-minded people that want the same things and you can help each other. And and you create your own little economy, don't you, then? That's the idea. Yes. Can't and stop us from doing that. They can't stop you doing that. They can try, but they can't. We have... if, we're, if we're not exchanging cash, done. Yeah. Yeah. And even if we are exchanging cash, right now, who the hell needs to know? Who does? Who the hell needs to know? Mm. I mean, it's called a tax. Yes. Just say it out loud. <laughs> say it out loud and you work out, you tell me this isn't a war. Mm. This is a war. It's them versus us. It and is. unfortunately, us are in the minority. Now, I know you think we're in the majority. Well, I'm afraid you're going to find different. Mm. Because us are the people who don't work for the system. Mm. Them are the people that do work for the system. And the higher up them go, the more they understand that we are their food. The lower down ones are just amazed to have the bloody job. Amazed, yeah. They're amazed. <laughs> they haven't a clue how they've got it half the time. <laughs> no. But as long as they go to meetings and pass the necessary not very quicks, yeah. okay, they'll be all right. <laughs> so them versus us, mm. or us versus them, is not millions versus thousands. It's a bloody 50-50 fight. Mm. And that's what's going on here. Because those that work for the system... You're asking them to bite the hands that feed them. Yeah. Well, they've employed a bunch of cowards. They have. They're not going to do it. No. Nope. Because they like the idea that you pay the wages and they make the rules. This is the real system we live in. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's so difficult to break out of it. Because we're now the minority. More people are being fed by the system than are feeding the system. Than are feeding the system, Which yeah. is why we're in deficit. Yes. We're having to... It's that simple. It is that simple. Yeah. More people are taking out than putting in. Than putting in. Well, the government understands that this is the way to redistribute the wealth. <laughs> right? So you're all poor. <laughs> yeah. But the system needs a pack of dogs, wolves, 
to keep the uppity slaves in line. Mm -hmm. So they dress them in black, reprogram them from the mid 80s, turn them into stormtroopers, mm -hmm. and make it into a business. Yeah. And the business is you pay the wages, they make the rules, yeah. and they enforce the rules. Mm -hmm. And you still think you're not a slave? <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with that one. <laughs> You've made some notes. What else have you got? Uh, it was... Um, I think we've covered most of it there. Um, it was just going on from last week, that, and we were talking about war, and it is war, and, and, and it is an attack on us. And, and we've just got the 10th anniversary, haven't we, of going into Iraq, and what a farce, and, and it, it just... It, it, I don't know. I just can't find the words to to say. I, I was five, six years ago of that. I, I said, "What? What are we? What are we going to war for? We've got nuclear weapons. We, we should just nuke them, or we can use the neutron bomb." This is how I was speaking that, and I think I've said it in previous shows. You have. I was the same. And, and I, I was, was embarrassed my to my mindset to know was, that my mindset was to destroy others so I could I could succeed so that we could be yeah, yeah. just like we did in Libya we, yeah. oh get Libya have got all the oil now have we got cheap uh, you said it on a few shows but have we got cheaper oil no we haven't got cheaper oil and 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 this is how we think and this is how we've been programmed to think and I, I have gone through the Alan Watts helped me with that the deprogramming uh, 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 David Ike helped me with that. Um, and, and Santos and these people, so, uh, and and you, yes, <laughs> definitely you. And our little meetings on a on a Tuesday night, which which I call my uh, respite care. I come here for some respite care. Um, and it, this war that's been waged on us, they do want rid of us. It is a culling. We had um, Chris Maple on, mm -hmm. the, the great culling, didn't we? Yep. And he's done the water one, uh, and they're going to do the food one and, and, and videos. Yeah, we're, gonna, we're having him back on. Yeah, we'll, we'll have Chris back on. Um, we, we will get some guests, actually, back in the future. But we found that um, what we have to talk about and what we have to share, the guests, we weren't picking the right guests. So we've had a rethink, haven't we? Yes. And we're going to get a brand new guest list for the summertime. We will do, yeah. And yeah. Uh, let, let's let's mm. um, try and... We're focusing very well now, aren't we? We are, yeah. The, the distractions are becoming less now for us. They are. Because we know... That if we don't focus on creating something, creating, not reacting, this is this is the real thing that's yeah. dawned on us over the past three months, really. Not reaction, four, three, creation. Four months, yep, we we moved from where we were. Yeah, uh, because, well, it it wasn't working out. It wasn't what we wanted. No. We thought, well, you're going to do it yourself. Yes. Like every bloody like thing else. <laughs> yeah, well, do it your bloody self. Then. Do it yourself. Yeah. So we have. Yeah. And I found that the way we were talking was different to what we, other people were talking about. Mm. We thought, we've got the wrong guest list. Yeah. We've got the wrong one. <laughs> and what we were doing was, we were competing with all the rest of the radio stations. Of course, yeah. Thinking. But for the bigger guests. Yeah, and we thought that uh, the biggest guests would be, and do you know, I'll make, I don't make any bones about it, I thought what I had to share was important. Mm -hmm. So I thought, if I get the big guests on, I'll get a chance to have my say. Yeah. <laughs> I was wrong, really. <laughs> that was wrong. Yeah. I wasn't really ready then. No. I was busy learning. Mm. But nine months later, which it is about nine months now mm, since I've been be, online, yeah. uh, we've been doing, well, I've, I've been doing it a little longer than you. You but did it long, you yeah. You joined me a couple of months after, so I did. months after, didn't you? Yeah. And I realised that, like you always do when you can look back, what a bloody cock-up I made of that. <laughs> But I had to make the cock up. You've got to then admit the cock up. Yeah, learn then by admit, your mistakes. Admit the fault. Yeah, and I'll do it again after the show. Mm. We listen to the show, what don't we? We do. We listen and back. We look, and we laugh and we think. Well, well we're getting more self-critical. Mm. I mean, you don't know that you said Mike landed. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> you got Mike landed in tonight. I'll tell you. <laughs> and I thought, well, that was clever. <laughs> well, on the way back of listening, you're going to hear Mike landed people. <laughs> 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 but, but we enjoy it. We do. We enjoy it. It proves we're and, only human. And on that, on that bombshell, as somebody would say, on that bombshell, all the contact is underneath. Uh, your Facebook, my Facebook, any other contacts or, or, or links that should be there that I've mentioned, they will be there. We played two tunes during the, uh, during the, the, the broadcast. The first one, John Farnham, and the other voice. Please listen to those words. I think it's a very, very important song from the 80s. Mm -hmm. so, you know, I, I didn't hear the words I until didn't, about a year ago. Time. No. And now I can hear the words. When you listen back, And yeah. of course, everybody wants to rule the world. Well, that, 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 you think, oh, that goes without saying. Yes, it does, but there's more to it. 
everybody wants to rule the world, but most people want the rule, to rule the world they live in. Yeah. You see, when you're sat at a dinner table with friends, have you yet figured out that uh, everybody sat at that dinner table, they feel that they are at least of equal intelligence to everybody else sat there, and more often than not, they feel a little more superior than everybody else sat at the dinner table, mm. which is why they're sat there. Yeah. But everybody's doing that. <laughs> so you're all fighting for the right to be right about something that you're not sure about and can't prove. Mm. Brilliant. <laughs> genius. <laughs> it is genius. Until next week, we will be live Tuesday, 9 to 11 GMT on Block Talk Radio. The link will be under the show. And you listen on YouTube, it'll be there next Wednesday. It's good night from me. And good night from me. Thank you very much for listening. Here's to the crazy ones. The misfits. The rebels. The troublemakers. The round pegs in the square holes. The ones who see things differently. They're not fond of rules, and they have no respect for the status quo. You can quote them, disagree with them, glorify or vilify them. About the only thing you can't do is ignore them. Because they change things. They push the human race forward. And while some may see them as the crazy ones, we see genius. Because the people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do.